it's Jackie from Sacred Journeys. How are you? Coming to you from Maui, and I'm right on the beach, so the, the wind is helping me choose some tarot. <laughs> so anyway, we're taking a peek at the weekend of May 26, 27, and 28. And whoa, the first one for you, my friend, is the magician. The magician talking about you creating your reality. You have everything that you need to go forward and make your life work for you. The magician is so Manipulative could be, you know, persuasive. So it could be someone you're meeting this weekend, or it could be an invitation and an encouragement for you to really rock your world, or do what you want to do, create your world what you desire. Ooh, and like, yeah, the two of uh, water. Excuse me, the two of water means that you're going to meet someone, a relationship that continues to grow. Solve the problem. Just kind of do a do a check, Virgo, and make sure that you're in alignment and that you have done your work, that you've processed all the heavy, dense energies that were in you about anger, you know, whatever happened. Make sure that you process that before you come to a meeting where there's possible res resolution. That way, you won't bring things up that have already been long gone. Uh, like there's a possibility this weekend, especially, okay, especially if you are going to be with friends and family that have from a long time ago, the Memorial Day weekend, and in the States, it's a big weekend to celebrate a party, you know, just for family gatherings or friend gatherings. So if you're seeing someone that you used to know a long time ago that you guys have falling out, there may be opportunities. If nothing else, just to be amicable. But that takes that takes you to have done your processing work. So when you see that person, just all of a sudden, you won't be re-triggered into something. Okay. So it's important to think about that. Like, what would happen if I saw so and so? And just put yourself in that situation and ask, what's left in that in your body or your energy field? What's left as a negative trigger? And process those things. Or the weekend because you never know who you might see if you're out you know, with social gatherings. It's just always good to do to clear yourself first so that way the triggers will be gone because you'll, it's a small world anymore. You run into people all the time so it's important to do your work. Anyway, Virgo, um, here it's talking about balance. So more the same. Balance your energies, balance your life, balance your uh, everything, your life in general, so you can be happy and at peace, and especially this weekend, moderation. Okay, so okay, I'm going to say this. Don't drink too much this weekend. <laughs> it feels like that might be something that's necessary this weekend to watch your 
yourself. Make sure you don't get too intoxicated or anything like that. And watch those around you to make sure no one slips a Mickey in your drink. Okay? Because the magician popped up. So just be mindful of who's around you. Be mindful of how you show up. Be mindful, again, who's around you. And make sure that you're processing your inner world. So that way, if you are triggered in any way, that you can process it. triggered this weekend to have you look at something that's still there that you may not even know is there. All right. So anyway, I know that's kind of convoluted. Sorry, but I just feel a lot of energy around this, guys. So Virgo, I wish you so much love and um, be at peace. And I'll talk to you.